And I'm running against the other terrible Tim from Minnesota. <laughs> both were governors, failed governors, and in November 5th, both will be failed vice presidential candidates as well. Kids are literally living paycheck to paycheck. Grocery prices that nobody can possibly imagine. Literally, the gas pump scares you. And don't even think about buying a house. Amen. Interest rates have gone through the roof. And as a result, the American dream has run away, run away from so many people. And when we see conflict around the war, the kind of conflict that both of these heroes went and put on the cloth and fought for, I'm telling you, if Donald Trump were president today, we would not have war in Ukraine, we would not have war in the Middle East, and China would be sitting where they belong, is back in China. I know Podar. I, I was in a refugee camp. So I know Podar. Okay, so don't don't twist it. This is what the libs do. They twist things around because they don't. They do have you, nothing run on. Americans can't feed their family. They can't put gas in the car, and they can't buy a home. So that's what they're running on. Uh, uh, twisting you, my words around. Do yeah. Do you consider Danville, Pennsylvania County, Podunkville? Sir, I already told you. I I was in a refugee camp. Please tell me. What's more podunk than a refugee camp or West Africa, where I grew up? So that's, that's again, that's, these are privileged libs who go back to their mansions and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I was in a refugee camp. Were you? That's podunk. A refugee camp where, where you get two cartons of condensed milk and you mix it up with water to get it, that's, that's podunk. So this, I, I, I stand by my comments with the uh, Stanton newspaper being podunk. It's, it's crap newspaper.